Hello everyone, I'm going to do a quick video tutorial on using the Awesome Sim Racing website interface and desktop client for uploading and syncing your ACC liveries within the SRA community. If you head over to the League Liveries channel, you can click on the link there that will take you to the Awesome Sim Racing login page. From here, you're going to click in login and you're going to log in with your Discord credentials under the same account that you registered with SRA. By doing this, after you've logged in, you'll automatically have access to the SRA community within Awesome Sim Racing and all of the collections. Go ahead, we'll click that. Here you would normally enter your email and your password associated with your Discord account. I've already done that, so this is the next step and I'm just going to click Authorize. Once you're in your account, you'll see a Sim Racing Alliance community here. <coughs> if you click on livery collections, you'll see all the different collections. So within Awesome Sim Racing, you're gonna have different communities and within each community, you're gonna have different collections. Here's the GT3 season three that we're running currently right now. And for future events, you're gonna have different collections. And we'll get into why and how we can make better use of this in just a little bit. First, let's talk about just uploading your livery. You're gonna scroll up, you're gonna to go to my account my liveries you can see i already have one there but let's go to <coughs> add custom livery here you can give it a title you can give it your team name or let's just say northern racing select the car mine would be the ferrari skin name here you want to give something a bit specific i mean the more specific the better a good standard i like to do is just your car followed by your name followed by your team. And then at the end, if you want, I sometimes even put the car because if you're looking to enter an endurance events with the similar team, same number, obviously same driver name, you can put the car, but if you're trying to look for a different name and then you can add more, like if you want to do an endurance, you can add as many as you want. But I think this would be the bare minimum. After you've given the skin name, you're gonna upload the decals and the sponsors. So under each of these, you're gonna have the PNG the DDS and the JSON file. The PNG and JSON, I'm sure everyone's familiar with. The DDS file is very important here. This file, after you've created your livery and you change the text cap value within the config JSON file back to one, when you enter ACC and you jump, jump into a practice game and you load your car on track, you don't actually have to go into, and race. This DDS file gets created. You'll notice your game may hang for a little bit and that's your computer creating this DDS file. But you doing this now and uploading it here will mean that other players within the SRA server won't hang when you join the server because everyone else won't have to make that DDS file. So this is very important that you upload this. So the PNG, DDS file, decals, and the same with the sponsors. PNG, again, your DDS file and the JSON file. At the very bottom here, uh, this car file that you'll find here this is just the associated JSON file with the car and the livery. Uh, adding this, you don't have to, but doing it is what enables people to see your livery within the showroom, select it, and they could even drive it. But something I actually like about this is you don't need to add this, and then you can still see everyone else's liveries on track without cluttering up your own showroom with different selections of cars when you go to pick your livery. Scroll back up, you're gonna go over to Artist. If you've done it yourself, myself, if you've paid someone to do it, give credit where credit is due. Jump over to Showcase. Here you can upload screenshots of your livery you've taken either in the showroom or on track. We ask that at least you upload one picture because it's nice when you go into a collection, you can quickly preview all the different beautiful liveries that you guys have all created. And publishing, so it's just author and authored on. Once you do that, you're gonna click Save. Again, I've already made one, so I'm just gonna go back home. I'll go to my account, my liveries. So here's the livery I've uploaded. And you can see it's already, once it's uploaded to you, your account, you still have to add it to a collection. So you can see it's within a collection here. This livery is part of one collection, GT3 season three. That's what the season we're in right now. And you can add livery to another collection. You can click here and it'll use this livery and you can select the collection. So here's the livery and you can hit select collection. These are the different season four that are 
upcoming. So if you're in Division 3, you would upload to the Division 3 collection. You hit Select Collection, and then you have your livery here, and you'd hit Save. Uh, the more preferred way of doing it is if you go to your My Account, My Communities, and there's a reason for this. Click on Sim Racing Alliance, Livery Collections. So here, uh, before you only saw the short name, the title, but here you'll actually see the description. So before you just saw Division 1, 2, and 3, and 4, but here you can actually see it's Season 4, deliver you can see all the different descriptions. So it's better to upload this way, so you can make sure you upload to the correct collection. So let's say I'm in Division 2 and coming up in Season 4, so I'm going to go here. And with, now that I'm within this collection, I can hit Add Another Livery. So this is the same screen, it's just kind of swapped. So now you know you for sure have the right collection selected, and now you just have to select the livery you want. Here's the livery and save, but I'm not going to do that right now. And that's how you add a livery to the collection. Now these collections exist um, when it comes to syncing. So we'll get uh, we'll touch base on uh, how to sync these liveries now that you've uploaded them. If you go over to My API Key, you're going to have this long digit key. Don't worry, this is not some key sensitive information because um, you can generate a new key. And once you generate a new key, this old key becomes invalid. Currently, it's only linked to the downloads and the collections that you've chosen. Uh, but in the future, I reached out to Austin awesome Simracing. and they're saying, you know, there could be ties to more personal personalized items within your profile. But I'll show you if you hit generate new key, this one becomes invalid. That's why I'm not really I don't really need to blur this or anything. Um, so for the desktop client, you're going to download the latest version. I've already done that. When you do that, you're going to have an executable here. Awesome Sim Racing. So if we launch this, you're going to get something that looks like this. It'll, this will be blank. So here you're going to copy your API key. And you're going to paste it here. Sometimes a space can get captured here when you copy from the web page. Just make sure you backspace and get rid of that space or you're going to get an error. Um, I prefer to have this checked off. Download only when DDS file is provided. That's that file that I was talking about earlier when people generate when they load their livery on track. This just makes sure that I only download liveries if the author has uploaded a DDS file. That means my game won't hang when they join uh, the server. If they haven't uploaded it, I don't download the uh, livery. So it saves me from having that uh, game hang when people join. Uh, so you can go ahead and you can click sync. Okay, perfect, everything's done. And that's how you get everyone's liveries. Um, just to show you, I mean, if I save this uh, here, this is my old one. So if I hit generate new key, this is my new key. If I try and do that again here, it's gonna give me an error occurred. But if I put in the new one, see there's that space, I'm gonna backspace that, and you're gonna hit sync. I only showed you that just in case, like if you were streaming or if you somehow your key got released or something, don't don't be too worried about it. You can just generate a new key and the old one becomes invalid, which is what I'll be doing after I finish this video. Uh, I keep this executable within its own folder because once you run this once, you're gonna have a settings file. Within this settings file, it'll store that API key that you're using. So when I close this and I launch it again, that API key is already entered. Now it's in my clipboard right now, but I'm guaranteeing over days and when you restart your computer, it's gonna be gone. You don't have to keep logging back in to get that API key. So if I delete the settings folder and I launch it now, you're not gonna have any API key. So you have to go back, copy it, paste it, get rid of that space, sync. Oh, I think I added a space. Yeah, see there's a space at the beginning. You just gotta check for the spaces, see? There we go. So sync finished, and you're going to see you have that settings folder again. I keep this within the same folder just to keep it neat. I mean, as long as these two things are in the same folder, that API key will auto-populate when you run this executable. Now, with regards to keeping those collections, uh, different collections within the community, the purpose of that is if you want to not take up so much hard drive space with the different liveries, you can go into, let's say you're in Division 2, so you don't want to download, let's say, the Endurance Series or Division 4's liveries. Let's go to the Endurance Series. You can unfollow a collection. So see, you are now following this collection. It will be synced when using the desktop client. 
if you click on follow, it won't sync those liveries. So it'll just, it doesn't use up as much space on your desktop computer. The same goes, like I said, if you're in division two, you can unfollow, if you want, you can unfollow division one, three, four, everything else except for division two. So you only need to see your rivals on track. Again, that's up to you, but that's why the different collections is, exist is you can essentially follow or unfollow. By default, you will be following all the collections. So mainly if you don't want any of these collections, you just go in and unfollow. And that is how you upload and sync liveries using Awesome Sim Racing Platform.